Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the James Lawrence All Got channel and the World Cup final stream. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. I think I've just got a funny feeling he's going to do it, you know, like a 2-0. I had 2-0 France. I've now started to like twist my mind around. I just feel like he's going to do it. I do. Angel Di Maria looking to get across. He's chopped in and he's in the box now. And and he has been, and it's right, it's a penalty. Oh my God, it's happening. Oh my God, it's happening. Dembele looks lost, but looks guilty as hell. And Lionel Messi, up your step, son. You are about to take a penalty in a World Cup final. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. I'm not going to look at the chat because I don't want to know what happens here. We've never seen him dink one through the middle. Is now the time in a World Cup final the biggest game of his entire life to end the conversation of who is the greatest of all time. Lionel Messi on 22 minutes and seven seconds is about to step up. Lionel Messi with that majestic left foot is about to step up. Here we go. He's put it in the bottom right hand corner and Argentina are on their way to quite possibly winning the World Cup final. Oh my word. Lionel Messi has scored in the a major final. He hasn't done so in the six that he's played in. But now he has. Peter Drury has an erection right now. No doubt in my mind. And they are 1-0 up. And it's probably on points what they deserve. I'm slightly concerned now. Molina's just giving the ball away stupidly. Hernandez on the left-hand side to Mbappe. He's absolutely... Oh, he got away with it. And it's fine. Martinez clears... Oh, Scaloni say, get to him, get to him. And Julian Alvarez does. And they've got the ball now. And the ball is with Lionel Messi. He's made his unbelievable little touch with the right side of his foot. And the ball is through. And is it? It's McAllister. The World Cup final. It's 2-0. It's 2-0. Oh, oh my God. 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 It's happening. It's happening. McAllister, what? the descendant of Fergal. <laughs> With the assist, and Argentina are 2 0 up, and Olivia Giroud, Giroud pumps out some snot, but that's not going to change much because the scoreline is still 2 0. Oh my good God. France are in trouble here. Real trouble. Wow. Is it about to happen? And do you know what? The bottom line is, and we'll. It all comes from a moment of Messi. That's disgusting. The little pass takes out two players out there. And then the continuation of the run from McAllister is superb. Great vision, which he's had and shown all tournament. And Di Maria, that positive decision in terms of the lineups to play Di Maria has come to fruition. Unbelievable. Secret agent with the first super chat of this World Cup final. Secret Agent Randy Beans. What a name. Thank you for that. Uh, the ref is terrible. In other news, water is wet. Mm. Going into the break then, let's have a look at the statistics. 59% to 41% for Argentina. Absolutely fantastic. I thought they might have a little bit more of the ball because they take their time as they work their way through the thirds. Six shots. That can't be right. Only six shots. I felt like they had more. Let's have a little go. No, six shots. Three on target. Three off target. Di Maria, an absolute masterstroke, playing him. Brilliant. Two big chances, one being in a penalty, one, of course, being the other goal. So they took both of those chances. 291 passes to 202. And again, we were looking at the average positions and just completely isolated and disjointed. And Argentina, really brave, actually. Just really brave in terms of coming out and having a, having a bloody go. Why not? Messi, let's have a look. Messi dropping into these areas at different times. McAllister, the whole tournament has played in that left channel and allowed Acuna to get on. Molina always sitting back and staying back, which he's going to do because you've got Mbappe on the pitch. I think Rodrigo de Paul will be interested to see his heat map. He's made a lot of ground and just sat in there or made third man runs, just self, selfless, selfless stuff. And oh, he's through. Oh, and he's dived, has he? Oh, and he's given a penalty. It wasn't a fake call. <gasps> Ooh We've got ourselves a game of football here. Colo Muani, who has been the best player for France. Lionel Messi has had a penalty. Kylian Mbappe is going to have himself 
a penalty. He's had four penalties for France in his time. He's only missed one of those three of them. One top bins, one bottom right, one top left. Is he going to complete the set and go bottom left here? Kylian Mbappe, one of the best players in the world. Steps up. Emi Martinez is good with penalties and he has completed the set. And you've got ourselves a game now. Bottom left-hand corner. <laughs> Macron celebrates like an absolute lad. Good boy. Kylian Mbappe stepped up. And this final will not be remembered for penalty misses as of yet. He's gone top right. He's gone top left. He's gone bottom right. And he's now gone bottom left. That's an all-court special. Every penalty, that's what I used to do when the pressure was on. And Killian's obviously been watching. And he's put it in there. Martinez went the right way. Hang on a minute. What's going on here? He went the right way. <laughs> and it's 2-1. Now let's see how big your cojones are. Mbappe with a little nod. And he's got it back. Mbappe! No! No! Oh, my word. They've thrown it away in three minutes. No. Macron loses his mind, as do I. And Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe has just equalised in the World Cup final. Holy. Holy moly. Lionel Messi looks up. And smiles. You're going to have to do this the hard way, Lionel. And it was Lionel Messi who was dispossessed by Kingsley Koeman. I thought he was going to play it into the channel. He didn't. He came back inside. Found. I can't see who that is. Plays it to Mbappe. Lovely little one-two. And that is one hell of a finish with his right foot. Absolute genius. And Didier Deschamps, who we've been hammering on this stream. I mean, look, Messi gives the ball. I said myself, when he gets to this stage of the game, you just give the ball to Messi as much as possible. Oh, my word, that is heartbreaking. Oh, no, and we might have ourselves some extra time. Chiram to Mbappe. Cross comes in. Oh, and that front three, all of a sudden, look electric. Koeman on the run here. Beach one, beach two. Is that inside? He's playing on. Edge of the box. Oh, get, get there. Oh, Martinez gets his hands on it. He spilled it, and he got way... Away with it, the footballing gods, letting him get away with that one. That looked like a foul, but the ref played advantage. Did he do the right thing? Was it inside the box? Wow. Argentina with the ball here, and they've actually sort of found their feet again. Just a couple of seconds left now. One minute left in this game, and surely could something happen? Alvarez finds Rodrigo de Paul. Give it to a better player. He has done. He's found Lionel Messi on the edge of the box. He's found the yard. Oh, and he had a shot, and I thought he was going in the top corner. I thought it was all coming to me, but it wasn't. Oh, my word. Lionel Messi, you just saw it. Cut on the left-hand side, got his shot away, but straight at the goalkeeper. Oh, my giddy aunt. The voice is starting to go, but it's worth it. Kingsley coming with the ball. Surely they're not going to break their hearts in the final second of the game. Oh, oh, it's bouncing all over the place, but they're okay. And they get the ball away, and surely now we're going to be heading into extra time. Oh, but it's a genius pass from Lionel Messi. He's fine. Alvarez running in behind. What's he going to do? Is he going to come back and try and find someone? He's found Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi has found Rodrigo in the ball. What are you going to do, Rodrigo? He hasn't got a clue what to do. They've got the ball here, and surely now we are... We are heading into extra time, people. Extra time. Let's have a look at what has been an unbelievable game. First half was obviously theirs. And again, let's have a look at the um sorry. Let's have a look at the average positions for Argentina because that's the thing. I think when they've made that one substitution, you lose that outlet, right? And that creates space. It keeps another player back. All of a sudden Kunde can be five yards higher up the pitch. But in the central areas, again, here it doesn't really show it because they've been, as the game's progressed, they themselves have been pulled out into these into these wider areas. The game's kicked off. Um, they themselves have been pulled out wide here. And that's when the gaps appear. Um, but overall, Argentina had the, the, their own way. But France played into their hands and then they've really changed it up. But like Enzo Fernandez, central areas just snapping at heels. Otamendi... 
Taglafico, I think he's got four interceptions, four tackles. Unbelievable game from him on that left-hand side. Absolutely amazing stuff. Rodrigo de Paul, huge energy as he run out of gas now. McAllister, great for the second goal. What a game. Oh, what a game. How's everyone feeling? Kola Mouani. Yeah, I think Kola Mouani, I think you're right. I think he has changed the game. Komen as well. They started to get that little bit more joy. I think it's that little bit of both where it's kind of who moves first. And Di Maria, that movement happened. Where you take him off and you put a Kuna on. And then, as we've said, once that change happens, you're just going to start to become that little bit deeper. So you can put Komen on that side. And you can put uh, Mouani on that side as well. They're looking very strong now, France. Oof, 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 oof. And they absolutely dominated that second half, didn't they? Although it says it doesn't, but I th look, the momentum bar tells all, right? It's that, that moment there. We're now into a new section. Extra time. We're back. What happened? Oh, he's through. Martinez. Oh, oh my word. What is going on? I don't know what happened there. The stream went down. So it's half time in extra time. I can't handle this. Macron can't handle this. Who's going to win it? I just don't bloody know anymore. Oh, Messi with the shot. Oh, you knew he was going to dive. Nonsense. It was never going to get given. Montiel with a little ball over the top. He found Latino Martinez. Messi. Martinez is through. Messi! Oh, he's got over the line. Oh, has he done it? The players are on the pitch. They think he scored. And the refs put it to it. Oh, my God. Messi. He's done it. He's fallen in his arms and he's put it in. Unbelievable scenes, Lionel. It had to be. That was the fairy tale. Oh, my good God. Oh, my word. Did that just happen? Oh, they're going to go to VR, but surely there's a chip in his ear and he's pointed to the spot. Lionel Messi may have just scored the winner in the World Cup final. There's a ball over the top. It goes to Lotaro Martinez. Messi. And then the ball to Martinez. He's onside. He tries to get the glory. It's a great save from Lloris. And then Lionel Messi knocks it over the line to make himself, quite possibly, the greatest of all time. He's got 10 minutes to hang in there. And he will have scored two in the final. A final where he's been average at times. But he's popped up just when they needed him. And it is confirmed. 3-2 to Argentina. Lionel Messi with the goal. Didn't smash the net. Apo Meccano nearly got it away. But Lionel Messi might have just... Finished off the script here. He may have just finished off the script. There's a bit of time left. France will come. But Argentina, after throwing away a 2-0 lead. We are watching history right now. Lionel Messi in a... Packed, <coughs> packed La Salle Stadium full with 90,000, 80,000 of those have to be from Argentina from what I've seen in this tournament. And he is just 10 minutes away from immortality, people. 10 minutes away. 25 minutes, 10 seconds. McAllister, who's had a great game. Scotland are proud of you, Fergal, your brother, your brethren. Is proud of you. He comes off. On comes Pazella. And he's got one job and one job only. Keep the ball out of the goal for the next six, seven minutes, let's say. But it's a corner for France. Kingsley Coman crosses the ball in. Goes out to Mbappe on the edge of the box. Oh, is that a hand? Oh, no, no, no. No, but it is. It is a handball. Oh, I mean, what's he supposed to do? It's Sissoko, isn't it? It's Champions League. He's given a penalty. Oh, my word. What is going on in this final? Oh. Kylian Mbappe steps up again. Is this going to 3-3? Is this going to penalties? Have we spoken too soon? Oh, my God. What is going on in this World Cup final? To score a hat-trick in a World Cup final, his second World Cup final, to drag France back once again. His second penalty? I'm trying to keep up. Kylian Mbappe is 3-2 Argentina. And he steps up. What are you saying, Emmy? 
He's put it in the same corner, bottom left-hand corner, and we're going to penalties? Is that what's happening? What is going on? Driving again. The runners here now, they look... Oh! Oh, I thought they scored. Imagine if that had looped in. Mbappe with the cross, he's, he's on a mission. What a great game of the best standing up and being counted for. But Mbappe has been an outstanding in this game. Absolutely outstanding. It can't go to penalties. Three minutes, it's going to go to penalties, isn't it? Another World Cup going to penalty shootout. Oh, he's through. Latoura Martinez. Can he be strong enough? He's there. He's in. Oh, what's happened? Offside. Oh, my word. Yeah, he was offside. Cracking little ball, isn't it? Oh, another ball over the top. Oh, my God, he's through. Oh, what a save from Emmy Martinez. Unbelievable. World-class save from Emmy Martinez. 32 seconds, 48. Oh, he's kept the minute. Now Messi's on the charge. He's given the ball. Can he find a man in the box? Surely not. He's found Martinez and he's shanked the header. Oh, my word. And if he leaves it, if he leaves it, there's a man at the back post. Oh, my word. What were you doing, Otamende? You lucky, lucky boy. Martinez with those wide legs. Surely not. He's hit an area here. Mbappe's got the ball. What are you going to do, Romero? He will not allow him to pass in one way or another, even if it means him getting sent off. He'll whack him. Oh, Mbappe's through. He's gone through another and another. Oh, finally. The Argentina player stops him. Incredible. Mbappe, you are it's sensational. And that is it. We're going to penalties. Ah! Oh, my good Lord. Mbappe first. Mbappe first. After all of this. So he's gone bottom left. He's gone bottom left, guys. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? He scored a hat trick in the final. But it means nothing if he doesn't score this. Here he goes. Oh, Martinez nearly gets his hand to it. But three out of three in that bottom left for Mbappe. And it's 1-0 to France. Mbappe will... Mbappe. Argentina will go second. Oh, it was a strong hand, but not strong enough. There's enough power. And oh, my God, it's Lionel. Oh, oh no. Lionel Messi makes the walk-up for his last touch of a football in a World Cup. The first penalty of the penalty shootout. He scored two in the game. And it now comes down to this. How cruel is football? Let's find out. Oh, oh my God. The steal of the conviction of technique there. So slow right down and watch him. Lloris waited. Nearly went the right way. And oh my word, he just... It trickled in, but it went in. Oh my word, what on earth was that? So now the pressure goes on to the others. Can they deal with that burden? Emmy Martinez up, up, up against Kingsley Coman. Second penalty. He saved it! He saved it! Emmy Martinez has saved it! One step closer for Lionel. He looks good on penalties, Martinez. He looks brilliant, doesn't he? Moving those feet. I think it's a really smart tactic that Martinez has here, where he goes like that, so you don't know if he's going to go left or right. Is he off his line? I don't know if they care about that or not. Here we go. Dabala comes on. Two take a penalty. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. At the moment, it's in the hands of Lionel Messi. Dybala scores his penalty. Komen has missed his. Two penalties to Argentina. Two to France. France have missed one. Chouameni steps up to take his penalty. He knows Martinez is going to do 
the naughty bits and pieces that he loves to do. He's throwed the ball away. That is pathetic from Emmy Martinez. He should be he should be embarrassed. And he's put it wide. It's worked. If that's how you win a win, then fine. Paredo steps up to make it very, very close to Argentina winning the World Cup here. Let's see. Oh, he slipped. Celebrating like they've already won it, which is dangerous. And now France must score. Otherwise, Lionel Messi wins the World Cup. Argentina win the World Cup. Colo Muan, he's been fantastic. Changed the game. He's a young man. Steps up. Straight through the middle. Superb penalty. And Argentina will have to go and win it. Gonzalo Montiel to win the World Cup. For the World Cup. For Argentina. For Lionel Messi. He's done it! They've done it! Lionel Messi is a winner! He is the greatest! The greatest of all time. They've done it essentially in a home match with 85,000 Argentina fans watching. Those fans deserve it. That team deserves it. And one man, one man in particular deserves it. Lionel Messi scores two in the game and Argentina have won the World Cup. It's over, isn't it? The conversation is done. Never again. Never again speak about who is the greatest. It's over. The numbers, the World Cups, the Copa Americas, they're all there.